Making money in Red Dead Online can be a painfully slow process, and the fact that everything costs you so much isn't really helpful either. So in this guide, I won't be focusing on how to make money and list the best ways to make money alone. I'll also try and help you out with what to spend it on, because there's a load of costly, useless things that people seem to buy constantly. So let's begin. So there's a load of ways to make money in Red Dead Online, but only a few are actually profitable. 1. Hunting and Fishing 2. Treasure Maps 3. Story Missions and 4. Showdown Series So the first one is obviously good for money. It can also be a way to farm gold and it can give you a great boost in XP. That is, if you go over to your challenges and complete them. After you've completed your challenges, you can reset the awards for hunting and selling animal pots to the butcher. That way, you'll earn gold nuggets as well for hunting. You'd say it goes rather slow, but it's not uncommon to get 70 or so animal pots uh, per hunt. Killing a 3 star pelican will get you 3 animal specific feathers, 3 flight feathers and some meat. Get a bunch of those and you'll race through these challenges and earn a good chunk of XP and gold. So keep prestiging those challenges, keep an eye out on them and you'll be making gold XP and money. So I talked about two good hunting locations in my previous videos, one west of Blackwater and of course one near Saint Denis. Those are by far the best places to hunt. Saint Denis holds a lot of exotic birds which can fetch you over $15 for a full stack of feathers and meat. West of Blackwater is loads of open plains which hold a wide variety of different animals as well. In all cases keep your eyes to the sky. Birds are where the majority of the money can be earned. I'll leave a link to both videos down below for more in-depth guides on these spots. Now fishing is another fantastic way to make money. There is a bit of a catch though and yes, pun intended. The RNG factor is quite high. Steelhead trout is what you need. If you're lucky, you find nothing but them. If you're unlucky, you find anything but them. So that's kind of the issue. If you Come across a situation where you can't seem to find any of them, then reload the game, find a new lobby, spawn in the same area and go searching again. It's really a case of, um, of luck. So uh, as for location, I haven't made a video on this where they actually spawn, but it's pretty common knowledge that they spawn all the way south of Rhodes on the far south shore and on the west side of Rhodes as well. Keep looking out for them over there. These fish will get you 425 per fish and you can carry up to 10 of those. Other fish like smallmouth bass are worth going for as well, 2 bucks each and you can buy 5 worms for 50 cents so you're gonna need that in order to fish for any of these fish. And if you are level 30, definitely invest in lures. You will never have to worry about baits anymore, at least that is if your line doesn't snap. Well, and if your line does snap, I have a guide for fishing in the description down below as well. It's definitely worth checking out because it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Now, fishing is a great way to make money. I myself prefer hunting for you have a little more control over what you hunt, where you want to go, and the earnings are ever so slightly better as well. Not because of what the animals are worth, because the trout goes for a juicy 425, which was, by the way, 450 if I recall correctly. The balancing rocks I spoke of has begun. Either way, they are both fantastic for making good money, so it's a matter of preference really. Some people enjoy fishing, others like hunting. I like hunting a bit more. With fishing you make about 45 bucks each 15 to 20 minutes, with hunting close to 50 or 60 for each 15 and 20 minutes. Treasure maps is another way to make money. You get treasure maps when you level up and they can bring in a heavy sum of money, even well over a hundred bucks. You can get treasure maps either by leveling up or by killing damn bandits come in their camps. Now the treasure maps you find from dead corpses aren't as great as the ones you get from leveling up. The third treasure map I got from leveling up brought in about $150. The ones I found laying around about like $50 or so. Still, you will get a fantastic sum of money from this as well. On average, I'd say you get around 100 bucks from doing these alone, plus quite a hefty sum of gold nuggets which are very scarce and this seems to be the best way to get these gold nuggets. 
Now another big way to earn money is by simply playing the story missions. If you haven't completed them, definitely do so. You'll earn around 700 in total for completing every single one. Granted, it takes a lot of time, but it's still a good earner and you earn a lot of XP and gold as well. You can replay the story missions as well, but it's not as profitable as hunting. It is a fantastic way to earn XP though. Now lastly, the playing the showdowns earns you a good amount of money and XP. The only thing is, you need to win them to make the most profit. There's a few things that make life a lot easier. For instance, the Varmint Rifle is a great weapon for PvP situations because of its tiny bit of bloom, quick reload and insta headshot kills. The only downside is miss your first shot and you're screwed. But when you master this weapon, you are completely unstoppable. It is by far the best weapon to kill people quickly. I'd also recommend either a shotgun or bolt action rifle, it's depending on the map and the game mode, but the bolt action is probably my favorite pick because it's also very useful in free roam for hunting for instance. Besides that, you can outfit the weapon with express ammo at level 32, so it packs an even meaner punch. Its lock-on is slightly better for long distances than for instance the repeater or the vomit rifle, so you'll have the advantage there. Also, the express ammo gives another XP boost. So if you get this express ammo, if you kill an enemy with a headshot, you'll get around 15 XP per kill. Now if you get 10 kills, that is of course 150 XP. That's quite a lot and you'll level up pretty damn fast that way. Of course, preference is a thing here as well, but you'll notice that the Varmint Rifle is the fastest gun to get a quick headshot kill with. The bold action is great to fire from afar and the repeater basically does what the Varmint Rifle does for headshots but the Vimer rifle does it quicker and better so long story short if you're good with getting headshots the Varmint rifle will be your best friend in PvP situations if you aren't that good with getting headshots you might want to go for the Lancaster repeater or the bold action if you win a match of showdown you're earning between a 10 and 18 dollars but you'll also walk away with a good chunk of xp besides all the xp you've gotten from the kills and also this is all depending on how many people are in the match what kind of match it was but that's a rough estimate now as for the other side of this entire story spending money Everything in this game is really expensive, but the real question is, do you need to buy everything? Well, for me, that answer is definitely no. All I have weapon-wise is the Varmer rifle, the first repeater, the bolt action rifle, a bow and a shotgun. I also have two revolvers, but that's mainly because it looks badass. All of this works fine for me. I can stand my own ground in PvP matches and free mode, and I can hunt whatever I want. Because really, ask yourself, do you need that Mauser pistol? Does it really give you a competitive edge in any which way or form? Uh, the answer is just simply no, it does not. The shotgun does a better job at close range, the Varmint rifle does a better job at medium range, and so on and so forth. It's not a better gun, it's just the most expensive gun. So just put that thing to the side, you don't need it. A thousand bucks in this game, that's a lot of work to obtain and I'm not gonna buy that thing. I'm gonna stay clear far and far away from that thing. Now there's a lot more of those things in this game and another big one are provisions. Cause do you really need provisions? You can hunt animals and instead of selling them to the butcher, why not take them back to camp every now and then and just cook yourself a big batch of meat? If you do that, you'll have a way more efficient way to refill your cores for you have to get an assortment of cans to fill up all your cores while at the same time if you eat two chunks of meat your cores are full. So fixed and it didn't cost you any money, it just cost you a little bit of effort. Because the bottom line is all these little $1 cans add up very, very quickly in this game. It's absolutely mad and it's gonna cost you a lot of money if you keep buying those things. Now the last one, I kinda wanna know if you guys do this as well, but for fast traveling, Fast traveling obviously depending on where you go is very expensive like you know, it can cost you up to 15 bucks to even get back to your camp or go across the map So what I often do is when I'm whenever I'm playing with friends I'll have them or I'll fast travel myself and I'll take the hit 
um, my friends reconnect to the game and then they basically spawn on me so they don't have to pay that same money and by the way that is absolute bullshit that is the case if you're traveling together with your posse only one person needs to freaking buy for a stagecoach or i don't know like at, at least allow us to pay for the stagecoach for the ride together i mean come on i'm not i'm not a scruffy bastard when it comes to this sort of stuff but it's really really getting out of control the amount of money you have to pay just to get around the map somewhat decently all right well, either way, that was about it for this video. So I think I covered quite a few things. And I kind of want to know from you guys as well. If you have any more of those tips. Because I want to know them myself. I want to know how to not have to spend money on everything in the game. If you have any good tips like that, please do share them. And I'll highlight them in the comments down below. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you again for spending a few moments here with me on my channel. It's always greatly appreciated. And again, if you have any tips, please do share them. Share them. I'll, I'll highlight them. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.